Hello, it's me, TFR Wilderness, bringing to you another KTRT review. And uh, this this particular toy that I've got to show you today, unfortunately, um, <laughs> he's kind of like a glorified one-step changer. He's got very uh, simple one-step, you know, very quick change transformation and no leg articulation. And uh, as such, I don't want to... I don't think he warrants a full-blown 20-25 minute review, so I'm going to try and keep this review nice and short within 10 minutes if at all possible. But before we get into the actual guy, a little bit of history. Now this guy is from the Hello Carbots toy line, and Hello Carbots has been going since about 2014, and each year they seem to bring out a new season. And uh, in uh, season 2, they bought out three uh, similar such quick change transforming cars. Um, they were like the, the trio of them, three brothers. There was Knight, Rook, and Pawn, or Pwn, depending on the, the pronunciation. Um, basically not named after chess pieces from, you know, chessboard. But they were also referred to as the Three Musketeers, or the, was it Sam Changza? I don't know whether I pronounced that right. Anyway, and uh, I've got one of them. I've got this guy. I've got Pwn, or Pawn. And uh, nice car mode, but uh, unfortunately... Yeah, it's got a quick change auto morph gimmick. Um, guy himself, nice mouldy detail, lovely colours, but no leg articulation. He's got a, a head rotation, an elbow articulation. That's all the articulation you get, and he's got this quick change gimmick. He does have an accessory. He's got like a got like a a thing in his backpack, a weapon that you can put in his hand. It's like a boomerang thing, but that that's all there is to it. So he was from season two, which was 2015. So he was like one of the first such quick change toys that they got. Then a couple of years later in 2017, uh, season five, we got this guy. This is Beat Run. And uh, he's got this futuristic looking off-road buggy. Um, really cool looking car mode. And again, quick change gimmick. You know, you just go... You know, you just go like that, and there he is. And obviously, you've got to pull the uh, the heel spurs down. Um, nice, nice, bright, colourful, awesome character in the show. He's he's like a rapper. He's really cool and funny. Um, articulate, he's got a bit more articulation on this guy. He's got elbows, arms, and shoulders. He has two guns. You can put in his hands. So you know, you can go around shooting things. Um, really cool character, but again. Nothing on the legs. Same automorph gimmick. Lots of spring-loaded joints. And these figures are the same size as regular carbot figures that have, you know, full articulation in the legs. But, you know, they, they ask the same price for them, you know, like 45, 50 quid. So, you know, you end up paying like 50 quid for a bot that's got no leg articulation. It's like, so yeah, I've got him and uh, he's a thing. So I've got him. Now... Season 6, 2018, they did it again. They bought us yet another quick change figure. And this is the subject of today's review, and it's this guy. So say hello to Hello Carbot Converster, or Converster. And I think his name is, is like an amalgamation of the words convertible and uh, roadster. You take the front of the word convertible and the back of the word uh, roadster, mash them together, and you get Converster. And uh, I think that's his name. Well, that's his name. Um, in the show, Chatan, when he calls his name, he actually says uh, combustor. It sounds like he says combustor because of the way you know Koreans pronounce certain words and phrases. It sounds like he says combustor, but it's actually convustor. Um, so yeah, he's a very bright red, yellow, and blue bot. Um, he's got a nice head sculpt. Now this guy, again, he's a really cool and funny character in the show. Um, he's... Best way I can describe it, he's like he's like an Italian playboy. You know, he really fancies himself whenever he transforms. Um, he like he goes in heroic poses, and um, on the back of his uh, thingy mode, you've got this black spoiler thing. Now this is also his weapon, so you can put it in his hand, and you can use it like a sword or a boomerang or whatever. But but in the show, this thing is like a camera drone. It detaches and then it sort of flies around and takes photographs of Converster in various alluring poses. So it's, it's quite funny because he's always like. He's always like you know, posing for this 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 camera drone. It's going, pa -chee, pa -chee, pa -chee, pa -chee, pa -chee. you know, it's, it's like a Polaroid camera. It's like spitting you know, photo prints out the front. It's quite funny. Um, yeah, so I just put that uh, back on there. 
Robot mode. Um, looks lovely, nice and colourful. Um, decent weight, nice and solid, but again, legs, nothing on the legs. It's basically a remold of this guy. It's, it's the same mould, but just turned back to front. So if you look there, they've got this, you can see they've got this, the hinge joints here. If you look, you've got the same hinge joint arrangement on the shoulders. So it's basically beat runs mould turned back to front. Um, it's got this unusual sort of flat, sort of, you know, all this flat plastic area, which is all, you know, painted and moulded to look like his shoulders. But it, it just looks a bit, if, you did, if it wasn't for all this paint and moulding, it just looked totally bland and plain. Um, articulation, same articulation as beat run. Got ratcheted his shoulders. You've got the arm goes up like that. And then you've got a ratcheted elbow that goes to 90 degrees. And that is all the articulation you've got. There is nothing on the head, nothing on the legs. So the robot mode, bright and colourful. And it, it's it's big, obviously. You, know, you, you put it next to Combiner Wars Megatron. So it's, it's leader class scale. And then put him next to Beat Run. And next to uh, Pwn. So, yeah, he's... He's a big boy. But again, like I said, price point on these guys. They're the same size as the, the full-size Carbot figures, and they charge the same price for it. And and I paid just over 56 quid for this guy. Now, I was reluctant to pay that price, but it, I'm getting to the point now where I'm running out of things to buy. And when you see the alt mode, you'll see the reason why I actually went for this thing and why I bought it. But anyway, so there's not much more you can say about the robot mode. No leg articulation. Little bit of arm articulation, nothing at the head. That's it, that, that's, that's all it does. So, transformation. Now, it's not exactly a one step changer, there is a few other bits you have to do. You have to sort of like fold the feet away. And then you fold the arms up, and then you go whoop, like that. Put the sides of the car together, and then finally you flip up the seats. And there you get the car mode. Look at this car mode. It is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Well, it doesn't quite clip together at the front. There we go. It's 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 an Italian supercar. You know, it's like a, a drop top Italian supercar, convertible Italian supercar. You know, it's it's got styling cues from a Lamborghini and a Ferrari. Uh, it's got these huge painted wheels. It's got uh, mirrors, it's got a full interior, it's got these like, like red leather seats in the front, seats in the back, it's got steering wheel, centre console, you look on the back, it's got you know like moulded exhausts and uh, rear lights, it's got the spoiler, it's got uh, blue lights at the front, it's got the uh, Hello Carbot logo on the front, and it's big and you know, it's, it's gorgeous, lovely, lovely car mode, and uh, obviously it's you know, robot bits underneath but they've done an amazing job on the alt mode and it, it looks fantastic and this is the reason why I bought it for the the alt mode because the alt mode is amazing it's beautiful but it's just a shame it's let down by the robot being a quick change figure and yeah so and, and, and the price I mean in my opinion these quick change toys should not be priced at the same price as the regular fully articulated figures they should be at a lower price point I mean I think you know you should be paying like 30 35 quid for this not 50 55 quid and that's just my opinion you know you should be paying you know, 20 quid less because you're getting a lot less engineering on them and yeah it's got that really cool engineering for the uh, the quick change gimmick but <laughs> apart from that where's the rest of it <laughs> the legs do nothing they just you just stands up in a in a in a bolt upright in a in a straight uh, a, a stance pose um, yeah, so, yeah, but, uh, you know, transforming him, just go like that, and then, you know, flip out the feet, and then fold the seats down, and there he is back in robot mode. There's, there's nothing to it, really. One trick pony. Um, yeah. So that is this guy, Hello Carbots Converster, a uh, figure from Season 6. 2018 so last year is from the season they did last year is a lovely colorful car 
you know, beautiful car mode, great colourful robot. His character in the show is is really funny, and uh, you know, energetic and articulate. And he does you know the camera drone comes off, takes all the photos and that. He, he's a cool character in the show. It's just a shame the toy is let down again with no articulation on the legs. <sighs> Why do you do this, Hello Car Bots? Why do you do this, um, uh, Choi Rock or you know uh, Sonocon? You know why 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 do you do this? I know it's it's all to do with the gimmick and you know to make it a nice, quick, fun you know transformation gimmick for the kids, but. You know, adult collectors like me, you know, you could quite easily have worked some articulation into these legs. I mean, these are just solid chunks of plastic. You could have given working knees, you could have given working hips, even though, you know, it's got the, the spring-loaded gimmick. You could have. You could have worked it in there, but you didn't. And then, you know, you end up where you've got, you know, these guys. They're all, they're all the same sort of thing. They're all, you know, cut from the same cloth. They're all big leader class scale toys with restricted articulation on the legs or, or no articulation on the legs and you sell them for the same price as the big fully articulated toys so it's not right there um yeah so oh i've got the wrong way around there you go um converster he's he's a thing he's a toy i'm sure a young kid would love this thing but me being an adult you know I have to be critical. I have to point out its its faults, and yeah, this 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 quick change gimmick. If it was been sold at a lower price point, it would work, but it wasn't, and it doesn't. So yeah, that that that's all I've got to say about this figure. Um, they're expensive for what they are, for what they do. They're they're quite a lot of money. So if you're collecting these things, you really give these things a miss, you know, because. They're too much. They're too much. If they came down in price, then yeah, they'd, they'd be worth a pop. But they didn't come down in price. The, the price remained stable. And of course, the other thing we've got, you know, living in the UK, we've got all this uncertainty with, uh, you know, Brexit. The, the, the price, the, the pound is, is the, pro the value of the pound is dropping against other world currencies. You know, it's nose diving, and the prices of overseas goods is just just creeping up. And, uh, you know, these things ain't going to get any cheaper, really. But I went and got him, and he's the subject of today's review. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been TFR Wilderness. Obviously, um, next video will be my end of month bot haul. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you then. But till then, ta-ta.